I think there's some criticism and some questions about NAPLAN, but I think there's the great majority of support. People are positive about NAPLAN. They agree and accept uh, that NAPLAN is an important uh, addition to our assessment program, that the information that comes out of NAPLAN is valuable. But, but having said that and, and making the point that I think there's a majority, there's a great level of support for it, there are some legitimate questions, questions that we will continue to work with and follow through on. Uh, some of them include people are concerned maybe this overemphasis on literacy and numeracy and, and the focus on NAPLAN displaces other things in the curriculum. Our view is twofold. Literacy and numeracy are fundamentally important. Uh, if young people don't get on top of literacy and numeracy early in the years and maintain that, then that's going to diminish some of their opportunities later on. So it's an important thing to do uh, but, and for us to know about how young people are going in, uh, in relation to it. But equally, it's part of an overall curriculum program. We would encourage everyone, we've developed the Australian curriculum with a focus on a range of learning areas. And our view is literacy and numeracy are actually going to improve as young people engage and apply them in other learning areas. So while the focus is on these important skills, we would encourage people to do it through a rich, diverse and engaging curriculum. The major criticism, I suppose, that we have about NAPLAN is the way it's used, is the way the results are used, and misused is more to the point. When the results are used well, um, they can be a really important tool for the classroom and for the school uh, to improve student learning. The criticism is when we start to compare and when we start to use it for comparing schools. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a it's a non-comparison. It's a, it's a tool to be used to ensure that we target resources where they're most needed and where they can do the most good for young people and their education. Well, the main criticism of NAP NAPLAN is that it's a, that it's a high stakes test. Um, but NAPLAN in and of itself is not high stakes. It's what's been done in the, in the media discussion and the political conversations around NAPLAN that has built it into a high stakes test. Parents can counter that, however, by talking with their child and with their child's teacher, if necessary, about what NAPLAN really is, and so that at least for your child, the context of NAPLAN is kept correct. So I would encourage parents to talk about NAPLAN, to get an understanding of what NAPLAN is and what its purpose is, so that they can give their children a sense of comfort and their children can participate in NAPLAN in the way that they're meant to. NAPLAN is just a point in time, it's just a snapshot of your children's education and it should be used as an opportunity to start a conversation with your children, with your teachers, to sit down and work out how collaboratively together you can help your child with their learning and their achievement just to ensure that they can achieve all they're capable of but not to put too much emphasis or create too much anxiety around NAPLAN. It really is one tool among many that, and one source of information among many sources that you should you know, draw on when you want to get a fuller picture of where your child is and where they, what they're capable of achieving. One other concern that people have is about the time it takes between young people completing the assessment and when schools get the results, when parents and students get the results. Now, that is a time that is longer than we would like it to be and our efforts are at the moment to shorten that. Certainly when we move NAPLAN online in 2016, there will be significant reduction in time. And so I think that will add to the formative uh, opportunities that this assessment provides. If we can significantly reduce the time between completing the test and when schools get information back, it'll make it much more valuable. And our clear goal and expectation is that we will be able to manage that and deliver that significant reduction when we move NAPLAN online in a few years' time.